Hello and welcome to Extreme Automation. In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you about external resources. So in our previous videos, we have seen that how to create test cases and user keywords in a single test suite file. Now in this video, we will be talking about keeping these user keywords in a separate file, which is known as the resource file of user keywords. So let us write a simple piece of code here in a single test suite file. So I have a test suite file named as ts1.robot and here I add a section for test cases first of all and let's say I add a section for keywords also. Okay, so first of all I'm targeting to add a test case here in the test case file and also some user keywords, right? So let's say my user keywords are maybe like keyword one or keyword two and I'm just logging a message to explain this feature to you right so this is keyword one and keyword two is also again logging a message that this is function two okay so in this test suite we have one test case and two user keywords and the body of test case is not yet defined so let's say i define the body and i call one of these keywords here for example keyword one and that's it right and to run the keywords, I can directly put the name of the keyword or maybe I can use another built-in keyword which is run keyword to run that keyword. Alright, so this is simple setup that we have seen earlier also and let us add another test suite file. Let's say that test suite file is TS2 and I want to have a new test case here for example, let's say TC2 here. And I want to have these two keywords again in that test suite file, right? So you can assume it like a common functionality that is being used in different test suites, right? So since I want to use those keywords in test suite 2 also, so I had to copy this piece of code here also. And in test case 2, for example, I'm calling keyword 2, right? So you have seen one thing here that in both of these test suite files, I have the common functions and these are same in both files right so that's why i have redundant piece of code and let's say i want to use it in n different files so i need to have multiple copies so that is not a right approach for this external resources come into picture and you can add a new resource file here if you right click and add a new robot file let's say user keywords dot robot and here you keep all our keywords and test cases you can keep in the test suite files so I copy or instead I cut that common piece of code or the keywords part from the test suite files and I paste it in user keywords and to use those keywords from test suite files what I need to do is I need to go to settings section and there I need to import it as a resource. So once I import it as a resource I would be able to use the keywords defined in that resource right. So this way code redundancy can be eliminated and I can have much efficient piece of code, right? So if you run it, you would see the same output that is being generated. Now, if I take you back to section 2.2 where we spoke about execution control functions, so we have used one of them, which is run keyword, right? Instead of this, you could also have used call method function and there are other functions also which you can explore or maybe we would be discussing about these functions later in our videos right so if you have any questions regarding external functions feel free to write to me in the comment section of this video we'll move on to the next topic in our next video thank you stay connected